Well, it finally happened. Two of the three beach cities have lost value from last year so far this year. But which ones are they? Stay tuned to the end and I'll show you. Plus, I'm going to give you a real estate investment life hack. Welcome to Daryl South Bay Real Estate Update where I'm going to show you what's going on in the beach cities so far this year from January through April 2023. Hold on to your flip-flops, it's so exciting! When I go out, people always go, hey Daryl, how's the real estate market? Well, we know a couple of things. The market slowed by rising mortgage interest rates, everyone knows that. But by how much? Let's do a quick look at three beach cities. Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach. One city is up and two are down year over year. Okay, I'm not comparing to the last three years. 2020 pandemic, 2021, 2022, crazy. You can't compare those years. 2019 was the last normalist year we had. Okay, let's look at the new listings between 2019 and 2023, Manhattan Beach. Down by almost half. Okay, let's look at Hermosa Beach. Down by a little, not quite half. Let's do Redondo Beach. Also down, down, not quite by half. All right, let's get the sold between the two years. Hmm, down, down, Hermosa. Look at Redondo, also down, almost by half. So there's a pattern there, half. All right, let's look at the median sold price. In all three beach cities, median sold price is up from 2019. That's no surprise to anyone, right? So, so far, there's no real surprises here. Don't you agree? Everything we pretty much knew. Okay, let's compare 2022 versus 2023. Up or down? Manhattan Beach, median sold price. Oh, 3.1 to 2733 this year. It's down 11%. Hmm. That's interesting. Hermosa Beach is up. You go Hermosa. Good job. Let's look at Redondo Beach. Redondo Beach. Oh, look at that. Also down. Down 8% this year. So what does that mean? Well, if you ask me, we don't have enough data to really know if that's true because February was down and March was up. Let's just wait till June, wait till August and see what happens because I don't think there's enough data to even know if it's down right now. Well, that's a super fast look at what's going on, what's happened so far this year. You can see the trend, the trend is way less. Interestingly, about 25% of the active inventory is selling within the first 10 days and that's making the inventory even smaller and it's driving active home buyers nuts. It's like finding a needle in the haystack, but without all the fun of finding a sharp object. But fear not, mortgage interest rates are starting to come down a little bit, so that's good news for everyone. And we'll just see if inflation starts to go away, that maybe the Fed will start lowering those short-term interest rates and that will help all of us. Yay! We're just gonna have to watch this and see what happens because none of us really know what's going on. Let me know your thoughts about this. If you have any comments or anything, just comment below or reply back and share this with an enemy or a friend. You know, anybody who's interested in this kind of thing. And here's the life hack. Never, no, always, Remember, when life gives you lemons, you sell them for a down payment on a house. Life hack.